Welcome to Speak Your Mind on Gold FM. I'm Jackie Spate, your host, and today we'll be talking about FBC's 60th Diamond Celebrations. Um, the Fiji Broadcasting Corporation continued its Diamond Jubilee celebration throughout the month of July through various programs on its PSB and commercial stations, including Gold FM, by looking at the journey from its inception in 1954 until today. So today, I will be joined by those who are responsible for FBC's growth and service and talk about their experience over the year, basically the FBC staff. Um, our first guest is Sekove Kroivimbao. Welcome to the show, Sekove. Thank you. When did you first join FBC and why? Yeah, thank you, uh, Jackie. I uh, joined uh, FBC uh, in 1999. Um, uh, I um, had applied for this uh, position as an uh, uh, advertising executive. I, uh, initially, I was working um, as a uh, sales executive in my um, other position, which was in Lutoka. And I have always found it uh, very interesting. So that was why I applied for that position. Awesome. And um, how have you seen FBC develop over the years? Oh, yes, there's uh, um, been a lot of growth. Uh, when mm -hmm. I joined, no, uh, the building was still in its original form. Uh, there was uh, a lot of uh, improvements, a lot of development has to be made. Mm -hmm. uh, coming from a background uh, from uh, a company which was owned by uh, um, overseas company. And when I came into FBC, I, I, I thought that it was... Uh, uh, way, way behind, eh? and I wouldn't uh, understand why the building was uh, still existing. I thought of uh, um, uh, having it demolished. It, it was uh, uh, an eyesore even oh to, to look at eh? yeah. in, in those days, yes. Yeah. So would you say that you're more happier now with the... Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, um, I've uh, met a lot of friends, a lot of people, uh, and even those coming from uh, overseas, they uh, say that your building is state-of-the-art, man. It's it's a, it's a big change considering that the main structure has remained, but um, everything within FBC has changed within. Yeah, that's that's uh, what's interesting about this building, and you can I uh, can leave the same uh, uh, skull or the same structure and just walk around it to uh, give uh, entire lift. Mm. Yeah, mm. That, that's uh, what what's made this uh, building very interesting. Yeah. Mm. What would be one of the most memorable times for you working here? Yeah, that's a good question. It, I think it's it's a changeover. You know, I remember we were told to uh, leave the building. I think if I remember correctly, it was way back in 2009 mm -hmm. with uh, this uh, older looks. And I remember in some uh, stages, uh, the uh, we was we will be sitting on our uh, at our table uh, with the computers and everything. The uh, rain will be coming from the top and straight onto our table. We have ah. to cover it with plastic. And uh, we had to move to uh, Civic Towers. Right. And then when we came back, it was totally a totally uh, new structure altogether. Right. Mm. So um, obviously, before before TV started, you were a radio key accounts executive. That's correct. And then yes. eventually, you had to take on TV. How was that change for you? And you know, do you feel that you've grown a lot with the role? Oh, well, absolutely. Uh, I know when uh, we were doing radio, we were selling something that. Uh, People wouldn't see, mm. you know, uh, and uh, this is the trick of selling radio. You can uh, um, uh, sell it to a, uh, a person and then uh, make words around it that makes mm -hmm. it interesting. Mm -hmm. Whereas with television, you can uh, somehow, you know, you will have your uh, 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 the picture or the ad, has, uh, so, so to speak, and uh, just tell them this is what it's going to be looking like on, on television, mm -hmm. which is uh, just a little bit easier than selling radio. Mm. And do you feel that um, FBC brings a lot more into the advertising market? Well, absolutely. Uh, with FBC, I, you know, um, I, I stay in, um, in a rural area in Rewai. Right. Yeah. Uh, and over there, the uh, uh, television uh, picture is not always good. Mm -hmm. And that's with our competition. Eh? When mm -hmm. FBC came in, the television uh, takes uh, uh, it takes a television to another new standard altogether mm -hmm. yes great and basically what do you see for fbc in the next 60 years that's if you're around <laughs> in the next 60 years <laughs> yeah I, well uh, i think um, uh, in the next uh, 60 years uh, i wouldn't even imagine what television is going to be like i remember right. when television started way back in the 1990s 
we would just uh, uh, tune on the television just to see the, all those uh, blue red lights. You know, it's something that was exciting at that time. Eh? Mm -hmm. But I believe uh, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know what television is going to be like. But I believe it's going to be a much improved quality mm -hmm. of pictures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you? Okay, just another question. With all these changes happening, there's a lot of new staff that has come on board at FBC. Do you enjoy the work environment? Do you think that it's Yes. You know, improve tremendously? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, no, uh, I, I believe in all uh, tertiary institutions now, they have uh, causes uh, uh, that, uh, what's called this, that uh, um, projects towards uh, 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 reporting, uh, towards uh, television production, and all those kind of things. These are the um, new employees that we have mm. been getting, mm. and uh, that has been improving our our. Uh, television quality and uh, makes uh, it easier to easier to sell as well, you know. Right, mm. and of course it would make it easier to sell, considering that um, as we had mentioned earlier, we have we have the power of both radio and TV, and with That's six right. radio stations. Yes. Of, you know, how is it for you going out and meeting with the clients? Well, I said earlier on that it was always been exciting to uh, to meet uh, the clients, especially uh, shrewd clients who we've always found to. Uh, know hard to sell to mm -hmm. now with the help of uh, television mm -hmm. uh, they uh, fi I find it easier to sell to this uh, hard to sell clients now with the help of uh, television eh? mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. um, that's what I think it's, it's a bit easier when uh, especially with the improved uh, uh, equipments the yeah. quality of the equipments that we have now with the quality of the sound uh, that we have now now if you uh, uh, turn your dial on the radio if you might be driving before, if you turn your dial, it's it's uh, electronically uh, searches the um, the dial. Eh? Right. Before right. it was hard to get a FBC dial. Oh. Now, if you search on uh, on uh, on uh, on your radio right now, it will stop at mm. every uh, um, FBC dial because it is stronger. Yes. Mm. That that's a huge huge improvement oh, from yes. from before. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, is there anything else you'd like to say before you? Oh, um, well, I uh, must uh, thank FBC for giving me the opportunity uh, to work um, uh, under its umbrella and um, I found it uh, really good. My uh, family has uh, uh, found it good as well. I have been able to educate my, uh, my, my kids mm -hmm. to the highest level and once again I say thank you to FBC. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much for joining us on the show, Sekove. You're welcome. We're out of time for this segment, but stay with us. We'll be right back after this quick break. Welcome back to Gold FM Speak Your Mind show. Um, earlier on, we had Sekove Koroi in studio with us talking about the FBC 60th birthday celebrations. In studio now, we're joined by the manager programs for Fiji Broadcasting Corporation, Mrs. Shami Lochin. Hi, Shami. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Hi, Jackie. Congratulations. Thank uh, you. And thank you for joining the radio team now. <laughs> so we have you from TV to radio, I guess, right? TV to radio, yes. yes. This is this is my first show, and it's, um, you know, so far so good. At least <laughs> you get a chance to speak your mind on radio as well. That's true. That's true. A great true. show. I was watching it. <laughs> Lovely. You look great. Thank you, Shami. And so do you. Thank you. Um, my first question for you is, when did you first join FBC and why did you join FBC? First, I was very passionate, right? Uh, I wanted to be with Fiji Broadcasting Corporation, mm -hmm. uh, the first radio station in Fiji. Yeah. Uh, I grew up listening to uh, FBC's uh, Hindi broadcast. There was only mm -hmm. one Hindi radio at the time, like mm -hmm. we had English, Hindi and Ito gay stations. Mm -hmm. So I grew up listening to Radio Fiji too. Mm -hmm. And um, in in uh, in 1980, my school spotted me and picked me up to recite a poem to celebrate the first decade of Fiji, wow. Fiji's independence. Yeah. That's when the royal family was here. Princess right. Anne was here, and and the new uh, national uh, stadium yes. was just built. Yes. So I represented Fiji with that poem. Wow. That's when FBC actually discovered me because we had live crossovers. You yes. know, radio used to be so different at that time. Yes. And, 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 and we used to enjoy live coverage. Mm -hmm. All three stations would be linked. So Radio Fiji 1, Gold FM, which mm -hmm. was Radio Fiji 3, mm -hmm. and Radio Fiji 2, the Hindi stations mm -hmm. were all linked together to carry out my poem, mm -hmm. in, which was in Hindi. 
So uh, they then announces, then they call me for an interview, and then they said, well, you have good voice. And I said, oh, wow, <laughs> great. I have, you know. And, and then, then they started a schools broadcast program on Radio Fiji 2 called the Pat right. Prang and say schools broadcast. Right. And they started inviting me to host that program. Mm. How old were you at the time? I, I was in Form 4 and uh, then in Form 5. So my oh, teacher wow. called me and said, I think you should join radio because you have a pleasant voice. I said, great. So then they started calling me for commercials mm -hmm. to voice radio commercials, a 15-seconder mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and a 30-seconder. I would get pocket money for that. It's, I'm talking about 83, 80, 81, 82. Yeah. yeah. Those, back in those years. And then after um, my scholarship in India in 85, I came right. back to Fiji in 86 and mm -hmm. there was a vacancy. They called me. Yes. I was so happy to join Radio Fiji, Fiji Broadcasting Corporation on Radio Fiji too. So uh, when I came here in 86, I started my career in 86. And, right. and I, I loved uh, this place yes. uh, because FBC has been the radio in Fiji. Mm -hmm which set radio standards mm -hmm. for everyone. Mm -hmm. then, then then, we saw after, um, in, in 90s, other radio stations coming up, and, and, and they were just following uh, on, the, uh, on what we had set, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the trends, right, yes. of radio broadcasting. So we are the masters, and we gave birth to radio in Fiji. That's true. That's, that's very true. And, um, you know, speaking, speaking of that, you said you, you came in in the 80s. What are the developments that you have seen with regards to FBC, I believe I've been told by so many people that the studios back then were much smaller. They were in different parts of the building. It's not like how it is now where it's uniform. It's all facing out towards the street. So, you know, what other developments have you seen? <laughs> well, well the, the studio doors were this thick. <laughs> and uh, I had to actually push the doors with both hands. You, need to, oh, you needed God. to have that much strength. It was <gasps> that thick door, Sunproof <laughs> Studios. Uh, hardly any windows, mm -hmm. so you are confined to a beautiful environment, though. But four walls. Yes, and and we were we were told that the minute you step from this end to the other end, the mm -hmm. minute you close the studio doors, mm -hmm. forget about everything, your emotions and everything, whatever problems you're facing, mm -hmm. because your life doesn't belong to you anymore. It's your listeners, right? Yes. So the, this is how we were trained, and um, it was yeah totally different. Uh, we we have a lot of fun on radio now. Mm -hmm. We laugh. Mm -hmm. um, we crack jokes. Mm -hmm. It's it's very much relaxed. I think because yes. it was radio had just started then, and uh, we are sixty years old, right? I'm talking right. about eighty six. Yeah. There were a lot of veterans who came before us and all that. So we followed the footsteps of uh, radio stations like BBC and mm. other great programs, mm -hmm. great programs. Mm -hmm. But after that, um, in uh, in in two thousand, uh, there was a big transition. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we we had we were so blessed with new studios, new buildings. Yep. And, and the quality of programming was good then mm -hmm. and is great now, too. That's true. Um, okay, so when you first started, you were, you were brought in solely for radio. And in 2011, FBC TV was launched. You now have your own show on FBC TV. Can you tell us a little more about that transition for you from radio to TV? I always dream to be on television as well. And, <laughs> well, and you, you look like you're meant to be in the spotlight, definitely. And you know what? I, I, was, I tell people, I said, I didn't have to go to a radio station. It came to our doorsteps. <laughs> that's true. You know? That's true. And I, I, I used to fancy, I liked drama, I liked acting. I said, yes. one day I'm going to be in television. Little mm -hmm. did I know that TV would come to our steps, true. that we would have a television station too. It's yes. great. I host once a month. My, my program is called Actor Special, mm -hmm. where I pick actors of 60s and 70s era, mm -hmm. and I talk about their lifestyle and the gossips related to that and some hot scenes and songs. So that's what my program is, Act a Special Bond. Right. Did you did you have any challenges with the transition from radio to TV? Not really. Or I like I like challenges. Yes, I, As I you love, always do. I, I liked it. It was great. And challenges are good in life. Right. Um, how has working at FBC changed you? Great. Uh, whatever I have learned about radio, mm -hmm. uh, the quality of broadcasting, what is radio broadcasting, mm -hmm. what is outside broadcast, mm -hmm. etc. Everything to do to mm -hmm. do with the radio, uh, from the nitty gritty of radio, uh, FBC has taught me a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't think I would have learned that anywhere else. Um, uh, all all about broadcasting. And yes, I've had uh, uh, my mentors in 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 other radio stations mm -hmm. as well, and I'm grateful to them too. But I'm so grateful uh, to FBC. FBC gave me recognition, though I'm not on air as much as, you know, like I'm not on radio. I haven't been on radio uh, for the last three years. I've been like behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. But 
that recognition which radio give, gave me in 1980s, people still know me through that. So you can mm. know and, and you can tell how powerful FBC is mm. and our radio, radio mm. stations are. That's the power of radio, yes, definitely. Yes, yes. Not, not power of any radio. That's the power of Fiji Broadcasting <laughs> Corporation radios, which is Radio Fiji 1, Radio Fiji 2, Today FM, Gold FM, Mirchi FM, and Bula FM. Well said. Totally agree with you on that one. What would be one of the most memorable times for you working here? Okay, they're good. They're good memories. There are some um, memories where you'd feel so embarrassed, you know, things, <laughs> things, things that uh, would happen. Uh, my my best memory was in uh, in in eighty six when we covered the hibiscus festival from a Cessna plane aeroplane. Mm -hmm. So I remember that we were the Semi Karoi was there, Sashimendra Singh uh, at the time. I was here too. Mm -hmm. So this was the first time ever we did reports from aeroplane covering the hibiscus floats. Wow. Yes. That was that, that's great. a great memory. That has never happened. Yeah, that's yes. a great memory. So we were squashed in a small airplane and we were doing reports from the sky. Right. And everyone in Fiji was listening to us. That's, that's amazing. Fideli recalls that. Oh, well, unfortunately. I think he must have been a kid us, in his diapers when he was. He said, <laughs> Shami, I remember that. I said, yeah, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for being on the show with us, Shami. Much appreciated. We're going to head into a break now, but we'll be back with more staff from FBC. Welcome back to FBC Gold FM, sorry, Speak Your Mind show. I'm now in studio with Mr. Charles Lee, and we're simply talking about FBC's 60th birthday celebrations. Bula Charles, and welcome to the show. Bula, good morning to you, Jackie, and good morning to our listeners, Gold FM. And um, first question for you, when did you first join FBC, and why joined, did you join FBC? Uh, first May 1998, and I became permanent staff on 15th Feb 1999, that's where I signed my contract. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Why did I join F FBC? Yes. Said because I was, uh, uh, I was unemployed mm -hmm. and I used to come here and you know, sell magazines, sell mm -hmm. fish, all the stuff there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I just wanted to join. Just was looking for work. Mm -hmm. So I got the work. I started off as, sort of, as, you know, as a duty officer. And oh, I, I okay. had to do skeleton shift, especially after being at Radet. Wonderful. Radet. How have you seen FBC develop over the years, program wise, environment wise? Well, I've seen a lot of changes from the time I started till now. I've mm -hmm. seen the big changes uh, before. It's, you know, all sorts, uh, like close up uh, studios, everything they were spread out, and uh, like the newsroom was on the top floor. Mm -hmm. And where the newsroom now is, it's the, the, the old old library. Yes. And no, and then the the the, the audio studios, like the radio studios, mm -hmm. they were separate, not like uniform like now. Like now, it's uniform now. Mm -hmm. It's on one end to the other end. Mm -hmm. No, a lot of changes I've seen in FBC during. So would you say it's a hundred times better now than what it was before? Yeah, hundred, hundred plus times. <laughs> so, um, Charles, when when you first started here at FBC, yes, um, did you ever think that you'd be making the transition to TV as well? Because I believe you make appearances on our Batani Tano show. Yes, yes, at times, at times, uh, like I'm a guest over there. Right. As a, uh, as so a transit because they came up to me one day. Uh, Dr. Yes. I tell the producer, I said, hey, come on TV. I said, no, I don't want to come on TV. Because if it's really okay. And I said, okay. And then they were looking for me. They up and I said, come, you go. Mm -hmm. And then from there, when I came on TV for the first time, and then I have a lot of response from, from the viewers, you know. Yes, you've uh, had you know, tremendous response, response from the viewers. Response from the viewers, you know. You've, I believe you've even gone with them on their, on their concerts. Yes. What, what was the last one that you attended uh, with the uh, DNT team? Uh, at Lambasa. Mm -hmm. Lambasa. Lambasa. And how was the response out there? Oh, it was, uh, it was, oh, it was, it was so, uh, it was, it was so me. Yes. Yes, you know. How, how did you feel, you know, going out and being recognized by a massive crowd, the, the people who all turned up? I heard they were going crazy when you came out. Yes, because, you know, uh, TV, <laughs> you know, uh, TV you know, is the power of TV, eh? Yes. You know, it's not like radio, you know, you can hear voice, but TV, you can, people can see mm -hmm. you, eh? Mm -hmm. Even now, it, even now, I don't appear on TV, but mm -hmm. down the street, people just, you know, they say, I, Charlie, they say, oh, good, you know? You know, I said, oh, just, you know, some dedication, okay, okay, I'll, I'll pass it to, to the three, eh? Right. You know, How does I, that make you feel? Well, uh, I feel good, but mm -hmm. I'm just, uh, I feel great, eh? On right. the TV, eh? Yes. But then, you know, I mean, the, I've the, yes, that's the advantage and the, yes, the dis disadvantage, eh? Mm -hmm. TV, you know, like that. So, knowing that FBC has changed your life in some way, yes. how do you feel overall about it? Well, I feel uh, great, you know, because, uh, I mean, I like to thank 
the you know FVC mm-hmm. for giving me employment to me mm-hmm. because they, they want that look after me and look after my my family. Eh? Yes, you know, yes. and that and I feel happy to work, no, with FVC. Right. And not only FVC now it's not radio, it's it's also TV, mm-hmm. TV. You know, it's a free to air station, TV station. I believe that you also have a new role which you just started out recently. Yeah. Yes, I started um, off. I started off yeah, as duty officer. Yes. And I just became a uh, you know like a janitor. Yes. And then janitor messenger. Mm-hmm. And then uh, right now I'm uh, I was appointed in May mm-hmm. uh, as a building supervisor. So I see a long, a long transition, you know, right. in, in me. Yeah. So yeah. you, so I'm sure you would be able to attest to the to the fact that FBC does encourage you know opportunities for growth yes, within yes. the company. Yes, you know, like like uh, like to give a quote from Albert Einstein. So like, you know, you know, in in in, in all difficulties, uh, you opportunities wait for you there. Mm-hmm. I mean, opportunity looks once on the door. You uh, take the uh, you know, take the, it was good. I said, give me, a, I'll, I'll take up the challenge. You know. That's awesome, actually. That that's a great quote there. Right. Um, what will be one of the most memorable times for you working here? Well, I've got so many memorable times. But I think the memorable times is when the time uh, when they call me the first time on the on the TV, mm-hmm. you know, on the on the uh, on the Fatin Tano program. No, it was uh, five segments, eh? Right. As, uh, you know, as, I think that's a, that was a memorable time, eh? Right. You know, for me, you know, coming on TV. Yeah. Wonderful, um, Charles. What do you see for FBC in the next sixty years? Okay. Well, uh, that's if you'll be around yes, in the next hope, sixty years. You know, you know we just. <laughs> okay, next sixty years, I like to see uh, FBC get more good programs and more good TV programs, mm-hmm. radio and TV, mm-hmm. and uh, I mean, uh, well, I just see TV uh, both TV and radio to grow up, you know, to grow, mm-hmm. uh, growth, and then uh, you know, I mean. S- People come here to work here, they really enjoy working for, for the radio station, whether it's on radio or whether it's on TV, you know? Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. So, um, on that note, what's your favorite show on FBC TV? Uh, well, my, I've got no, I've got no favorite show, you know? I just, like, Bardin Tono, uh, other programs, uh, other, other programs, eh? Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. All right. Well, um, do you have anything to say with regards to your workplace or your, you know, your workmates? Well, uh, it's another quote I like to say, but but the Gandhi, mm-hmm. uh, being the change in yourself to be in the world, something like that. Eh? Mm-hmm. You know? so you want to, you want to see every change is just being the change. You know. Uh, I love how you're quoting people. Honestly, <laughs> I think it's absolutely awesome. You're just going off with your quotes. I need to need to try that once in a while. <laughs> Okay, thanks, Jackie. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us uh, today about the development? No, I, say, I think I've saved other for other people coming in. Eh? Okay. No, uh, All right. Okay. Well, thanks so much, thanks. Charles, okay, for being much on the show with us. Yes, we'll be right likewise. back. Thank you. Welcome back to FBC's Gold FM Speak Your Mind show. We are today talking about FBC's Diamond Jubilee celebration. Um, in studio right now, we've got Luisa Utonica, also affectionately known here at FBC as Auntie Lou. Well, I like it. Well, Auntie Lou, how are you? Thank you so much for joining and us on the show today. Thank you, and, and I'm so privileged to be invited to be part of your show today. Oh, thank you, Auntie Lou. Now, my first question for you is, when did you first join FBC and why? Okay. I first joined in 1976. 1976? Yes, out of school from, uh, that was FIT, mm-hmm. now FNU. I was at home. You know, like that, you're looking for a job. So I had this ad on uh, radio, on air. They're looking for a junior copywriter, so I applied. Copywriter? Yeah, junior copywriter. Right. I spent 18 years doing copywriting work here. Wow. Pigeon copywriter. So that's where I learned all these um, mm. techniques of uh, uh, presenting and mm. selling and all those kind of things. Mm. So I decided to join uh, uh, Radio Fiji One. And there was an opening in Radio Fiji One. Yeah. So you moved from copywriter 18 yeah. years mm. to Radio Fiji One. Yeah. What, what was that like for you, the transition from copywriting to going on air? No, nothing. Because uh, when you do copy work, mm-hmm. you are part of uh, on air too. Because the, your ad goes on air. Mm-hmm. You did write ads, mm-hmm. so 
are doing uh, announcing it's just like uh doing ads on air and uh, tv or whatever because you work with time you right. sell product yes. so it's just like announcing you yes. sell uh, on air mm -hmm. now how have you seen fbc develop over the years program wise and environment wise very it's a wide uh, uh, development, my dear. Mm. Before, when I joined in, only two radio stations. Right. Radio Fiji 1 and Radio mm -hmm. Fiji 2. Radio Fiji 1 is to share with English program. Mm -hmm. Now we have six stations. So, and we have the uh, FBC TV. Yes. And I'm so privileged that I happen to be alive. Thank God for that. <laughs> Did you ever think back then that... If BC would have grown into what it is now, six radio stations, no, dear. nobody a TV ever station. dreamt about that. No, no. True. Oh well. Um, how has working at FBC changed your life? Oh, very much, my dear. Even my family too. They're part of our radio. They know everybody's voice when they come on there. Even the old announcers when they talk out when they are outside, they are talking. Oh, ah, so and so. That's so and so. <laughs> Just by hearing the voice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And you're on Radio Fiji 1. You're yeah. still presenting with Radio Fiji 1. Tell um, us a bit about your show on Radio Fiji 1. Well, I did this show with uh, Dr. Nela Tikau. Right. It's the Kumbulambula show. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people call. Mm -hmm. about this. Uh, I did radio uh, programs too for kids, mm -hmm. children's program. And now Meliki doing that. Mm -hmm. So this uh, Tikumbulambula show mm -hmm. with uh, Dr. Nela Tikau. Some people call me thought that I'm a doctor too, but no, like giving out uh, tips and yes. uh, hints about uh, how healthy you are. Right. Stay healthy mm. and this and that. Mm. Because you have to be a jack of all trades when oh, you're yes. announcing. Yes, yes, definitely. What are the challenges for you with regards to prepping for your work, presenting your show? You know, what are the challenges that you may face on a daily basis? Every day, um, like climbing up the hill. Right. Because you have to prepare your programs and you have to uh, think of ideas too to make uh, people out there interesting. Mm -hmm. And to listen to your show, you have to grab attention too, my dear. Right. Well, I do understand here here at FBC now, you have you actually have your own area that's provided for you so you can prep for your work. Mm -hmm. The programs department. Huh? So um, all, all the staff, before they come on radio, they go and yeah. sit at the um, designated desk that's you know, provided by the company. Did you have that before? No, uh, before you have to share, my dear. Mm -hmm. Like, um, uh, we share rooms with, uh, this room with the Hindi uh, program, mm -hmm. and it's a limited space. Mm -hmm. But now, you have um, a computer and a table yes. where you, sh you do your work, you have a lot of space. Right. So there's no excuse for presenting a good uh, program. Right. Um, are you able to tell us a bit about your transition from analog to digital? Because you were here from the beginning. Yes, it is a very big thing, my dear. Like uh, before, uh, by having cartridges and uh, tapes, you right. have to sit there all the time and uh, watch it. <laughs> but now, like uh, doing voice track, yeah. people still call it home. They thought I'm at work. Well, but you're not. No. <laughs> I did voice track, so it's just like, they say, hey, hey, come on, yeah. you're like fooling us yeah. by doing that. But that technology, my dear. Yeah, so, so you before be you'd have to be in the studio yeah. throughout the duration of your show. Yes. But now you don't have to do that. You can just come and go as you please. Yeah. That's the beauty of um, technology. Yeah? Yes, it is. It is, but don't abuse it. Eh? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, Auntie Lou, what do you see for FBC? In the next 60 years? Wow. Well, in the next coming years, what do you see for FBC? What do you hope for It's FBC? going to grow, my dear. Like, we have to uh, uh, face a lot of um, mishaps and whatever, mm -hmm. yeah, but we're still going rolling. Mm -hmm. eh? yeah. Like, the, oh, there's no money, mm -hmm. but we still struggle. We yeah. have to sacrifice. Yeah. We have to cut some areas here and there, and you have to complain about it, but mm -hmm. life have to go on, my dear. Mm, that's true. That's true. So, um, just one last question before mm. you go. Um, do you... What? Am I, am I married or what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Antilo, don't worry about that. I'm not going to ask you any questions about that, but thank you for that.
But um, you know, just uh, just simply to 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 ask you, how has it changed? How has radio changed your life in terms of um, you know, when you go out in public and people come up to you and you know want to speak with you about it, and they, or they want to come on radio? How is it? How has it changed? You know. Okay, you? tell you what. One Indian guy who used to uh, participate in our program, mm -hmm. his name is Balwan Singh. Right. He's from Ra. Mm -hmm. He came last week mm -hmm. to do Mbatanitano. He was invited. And you know what? I happened to come around, and Samu called me, mm -hmm. come and meet one of our um, uh, guests here. Mm -hmm. His name is Balwan Singh. Oh, Mbola Matangali, that's what yeah. we used to call each other. Mbola Matangali, he said, Oh, are you Luisa? I said, yeah. I thought you were a young girl. <laughs> I said, how come? Just by your voice. That's it, my dear. Ah, thank you so much, Auntie Lou. Much appreciated. And thank you for coming on the show with us today. And we wish you all the very best. And now we're going to go into a break. We'll be right back right after this quick break. So stay with us. Welcome back to Gold FM Speak Your Mind show. Today we're talking about FBC's 60th birthday, our Diamond Jew Jubilee celebrations. And for the final segment, I have in studio with me Mrs. Naika Manalangi. Mbula and welcome Mbula to the vinaka. show. Mbula Vinaka, Jackie. Mbula Vinaka. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> well, I'm nervous too. Don't be nervous. I'm nervous too. <laughs> Well, we're going to get straight into it. I'm, my first question for you is, when did you first join FBC and why? Thank you, Jackie. I first uh, joined FBC in 1987 wow. as a part-time announcer, and it's after 27 years of service for FBC wow. uh, today. 1987? I wasn't even born then. <laughs> yes. And it's like a childhood dream for me mm -hmm. to be because uh, I always listened to radio mm -hmm. at that time it was only two radio stations mm -hmm. like Radio Fiji 1 and Radio Fiji 2 mm -hmm. and uh, Gold FM was well known as uh, Radio Fiji 3 oh okay that time. and now it's Gold FM and uh, whenever I'm home mm -hmm. uh, just I left school in 1986 mm -hmm. I was just uh, listening at home when the uh, a part-time announce was uh, uh, advertised or mm -hmm. broadcast and uh, like it's a uh, uh, interest for me to be a radio personnel right and then I just uh, apply in I came right to FBC at that time my manager was the uh, Lazarus Sabusani Wailala right and my Ratu Alesi was Urupeni Senimbulu I know that he's ah. from Wainimbuka yes That's he where is you come he is from, from Wainimbuka <laughs> 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 and just uh, I applied for that post as a part-time announcer mm -hmm. and I was so fortunate I'm so lucky mm -hmm. to be selected as one of the two that uh, came in in 1987. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Now, um, how have you seen FBC develop over the years? It has been a great changes. Right. right from the time I started at FBC in 1987, we used to do things manually. Mm -hmm. Like we use a cartridge, mm -hmm. we use a reel, mm -hmm. if those who know FBC at that time, it's like a, a tape, mm -hmm. like a projector mm -hmm. in watching film. So that's a real uh, tape, a real machine that we use to record programs. Right. And uh, it's very difficult when we try to, uh, say, edit, mm -hmm. to do editing mm -hmm. in a, a real tape. Mm -hmm. We have to splice and there's a tape. Everything is manual. It's very difficult to do job oh, at wow. that time. Yeah. But now with the work of... A, Technology mm -hmm. as a computer, everything has been computerized, mm -hmm. and things are easy. How was that transition for you, going from analog to digital? Was it was it an easy transition? You must have had a lot of things to learn with all uh, the new technology that FBC yes. now. Yes, uh, it's been uh, a a big challenge mm -hmm. to me. As uh, from manual, I don't even know anything about computer at that time. Oh wow! And I was so lucky that. Uh, our technicians, whoever come, who have the, uh, the knowledge of a uh, computer, right. they teach us. It's right. just day by day, mm -hmm. we come to learn uh, everything that's been computerized. Mm -hmm. And later today, 
Anyone can just uh, talk about computer with the technology we're using the next gen. We start off with a wizard and then to dial it. Now we're using next gen. Yeah. So it's slight uh, difference in all uh, technology yes. uh, work, but still it's computer. Right. So everything. We can just uh, leave the studio and uh, let the song go. Those are at home who are watching uh, FBC TV right now. Yeah. They don't even know that the song has been going. Nike can go somewhere else. That's talk, true. And, yeah. That's true. That's the uh, main uh, changes with the technology mm. that comes mm. today. And um, environment-wise, I had Auntie Lou on the show earlier and Charles and, uh, and Sekove and... Um, they, they had some pretty interesting stuff to say about the old FBC building. Oh, yes, very so much. can you share a bit of yes, that Yes, I heard uh, Shami, uh, she's been talking about the two doors. <laughs> it's a heavy door and a very tight door so that the uh, noise from outside mm. cannot come in mm. uh, because of the soundproof. Yeah. But now it's only a door, it's only a glass around us, yeah. and it's been a big change. Like it's a two doors. When you open, there's a passage in between, just mm -hmm. a small gap that you can join in mm -hmm. and then you open another door and then there's a, a machine and your console that we call uh, uh, all the machines are in there for your show. Were, were, were your studios back then the same size as this studio? Or were oh, they very small. Oh boy. Yeah, it was very small. It's just uh, uh, like with your machine and with all the machines at the time when it's manual, you mm -hmm. know, it's manual because of the computer when you have four mm -hmm. and then you do your job. But with us, there's a real machine, there's a cartridge machine, yeah. and even a rack of uh, cartridge, because wow. one cartridge contains one song. Oh. So it's only a three-minute song. You have to wait for another cartridge to be put in, and then you play, and then a song comes again. Oh, interesting. That is, that is very, very interesting. <laughs> That's did, FBC for yeah. the past 16 Did years. you ever think that FBC would be where it is today, back then? No. You've been with no, the, Jackie, with the I've been company the, since 87. Yes. No, Jackie, for the past 27 years been FBC, I know I only work for radio, radio, radio. Mm -hmm. And it's the first time I appearance to, to FBC TV. Oh. Yes, because if they, if they say, no, that I'm Nike Kamanalangi, yes. uh, I don't know what's been there yes. because I'm small yeah. and my voice is heavy. <laughs> they might think, oh, this is I, nice. I do recall, She's young. Yeah, I do recall um, uh, a few months back when I brought in some visitors into Radio Fiji One to see you, and um, they were they were just staring at you. you yes, know, they didn't of recognize that. you. But when you started speaking, the reaction from them, they immediately recognized your voice. And you know, do you have that on on you know on on occasions when you're out in yeah. public and you speak in public? Right. Sometimes when the visitors come in. Uh, when I um, introduce myself as Nai, yeah. uh, they will say, oh, this is Nai Kuli, because that's a well-known household name right. when I started FBC yes. in the 27 years ago, yes. Nai Kuli. And later they know that I'm not that old, so my voice is old, <laughs> but I'm still young. <laughs> oh, of course, of course. Um, tell us a bit about your show on Radio Fiji One. What do you present on Radio Fiji One? Okay, uh, I started off with the part-time announcer and later be assistant, uh, women's uh, assistant. Mm -hmm. uh, I work with Andy May. Mm -hmm. uh, when I talk about FBC, I always think of my all the veterans, like all the old FBC or the Radio Fiji One stuff mm -hmm. that I work with. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if not of them, I won't be here today. They really helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. So I'm very emotional, but I always think of them. Wame wangani sanini, urupeni senibulu, apaku kitho ka. And um, I mean, wame, uh, uh, yes, chosuwa uh, rumbuka wanga, chosuwa mbongin rao. All these are part of my life at FBC till now, because if not of them, I wouldn't be able to be as a deputy program director today. Oh, wonderful. So you, you are the deputy program director for Radio Fiji One. That's 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 big. Do you, mm. So I guess you would, you would also agree that um, FBC has fully encouraged growth for all staff. Yes, it's been a great growth. Uh, um, great learning Jackie, experience, huh? and a very mm. great learning experience being at FBC. And it's my home. I can tell it's my home oh, yes. because it brings the changes in my family. Mm. And uh, with my colleagues at FBC staff and RF1, mm -hmm. and where I am today. Now, what would be one of the most memorable times for you working here? Uh, I, my memorable time is uh, when I first uh, selected as uh, uh, the participant for the Pursiwa in 1991. Mm. 
it's the first time I go abroad. Wow. In the Cook Islands, in yes. Rarotonga, yes. where all the women from all the region and even Australia and New Zealand, mm-hmm. and I'm as that young, I'm mm-hmm. still 20 at that time, when I was selected to be part of FBC, representing FBC to Rarotonga. Oh, wonderful. For the conference in wonderful. Nova Siwa. That, that, that it's, it's wonderful to hear you speak of your close work, especially with women, eh? women in our, yes. in our community. And I think you... You hold a very important role with a lot of ladies, especially mm-hmm. being on air, so they can relate easily with you. Yes, very um, much like well, that. we're out of time for this segment and also for this week. Um, we'll be back again next week on Monday at 12 o'clock, so be sure to join us. And I just want to thank you so much for coming thank on you, the show with you. us. Much appreciated. And um, on that note, thank you very much for joining us, and we'll see you again next week.